everybody. I missed you. Say hi to Tinker. Tinker was a gift. Who's that, Tinker? Who's that? Yes, she was a gift, you guys. I had a few gifts since we've been gone, and I miss you all, so grab your beverage and meet me back here. We'll talk. Say hi to Tinker. Isn't she cute? Yeah. Her Tinkerbell. I know. Hi, Tinky Ding. I know. See you in a minute. Have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. <laughs> She's in, I swear to God, you guys, she looks like Chewbacca. Okay, come on, Joey. Come on. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Tinker was a gift. Um, uh, she's a full-blooded Yorkie, AKC registered. She's eight years old. Um, what, sissy? I know, huh? Let me get her, guys. Hang on. Anyway, um, she was given to me um, as a gift, and... Uh, She's been a joy. She's different than Ginger, of course. Uh, but, yeah, just look at that little face. Is she cute? I oh, know. Her name is Tinker. And, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's quite the character, this one. Um, so, I know it's been a while. And I have to say first, before we get going, you want to stay here or you want to get down? Her little sweater, right? I got a bunch coming in the mouth. So, anyway, um... Uh, you know, I was reading comments this morning, and I miss you guys so much, so incredibly much. It's it's funny uh, when you get like-minded people in one area. Uh, we just kind of all feed off of each other, and uh, I I really enjoy it. I love free thinkers, and I have to say that I have a diversity of <laughs> free thinkers on this channel. And I really enjoy the fact that only the trolls attack my commenters. Um, everybody seems to get along or they just leave each other alone like adults are supposed to do. But with that being said, let's get into what's going on in my world. Okay, first of all, you guys know I painted my whole house. Yes, I did. Um, it feels better. My allergies have totally cleared up, as you can tell. And, yeah, I'm doing really well. Uh, I've had Tinker for probably about a week now. And so uh, that's really added joy to my life. Um, she, she's bossy just like Ginger. Um, but I have to say that, um, yeah, she's a sweetheart. And uh, mm -hmm. it got cold here. That's why she has this sweater on. So anyway, in reading my comments today, I was kind of amazed at a few things. One, I'm sorry you guys did not get notification on my last video when I showed you my house. Now if you want to know what this apartment looked like before I painted it, way down before the viral video or right after, I do a video about the stick and brick and you can see the house in that video. Um, if you want to see what it looked like before, <laughs> yeah, I even repapered behind the stove. Um, it, it's, it's like a whole new house. Yeah, my lips are so chapped. I had to turn the heater on last night. So anyway, um, if you want to go back and see what the house looked like before, you can do that as well. So, let's get into Tammy's rant. You know, I uh, got a few comments that, uh, oh, Santa Claus's girlfriend, yeah, Carolyn, uh, decided to open her yap about me after she thought I was gone. <laughs> God, don't you love these people? I mean, really, where is this lady's class? Does she not have a brain on her shoulders for being a Harvard, or I mean, a Berkeley graduate? You think I'm gone, so you're going to get on there now and badmouth me? Not happening. And, you know, it amazes me that uh, they're sh the sheep, you guys, they're sheep. No brain. They have no brain. I never cease to be amazed at the lack of thought process for 90% of these followers of theirs. It's like they're zombies. 
<laughs> they don't have a free thinking cell in their own brains. It's really, really sad that there, there are people out there that, that follow blindly and don't have their own opinions or likes or dislikes. Um, it's, it's, almost, uh, it's almost comical. And you know, another thing. I heard that I got ran off by the glam mads and the scam mads. You guys, especially anybody who's been watching my videos for a minute, I am not the type to get ran off by anybody. Just saying. I don't bully easily. You can't bully me into doing what you want me to do. You can't scare me into doing what you want me to do. And you definitely cannot chase me off. Unlike the glam mads and the scam mads who are nothing more than low-life e-beggars, I don't e-beg. And I, yeah, just because the trolls may think I e-beg because I have a PayPal button, that's not e-begging. Unlike ODJ, who had everybody send one dollar to her personal mailbox so she could donate it to a charity of no name. Yeah, and they did it. They did it, you guys. Amazes me. Because I choose to get out on my own and work for what I want and not sit on a camera and beg, make up sad stories about, oh, woe is me. I've got rats. Oh, my roof leaks. I need a new rig. Why people sit in their homes dreaming about this lifestyle and paying these people to live it. You know what, if I've done anything here, you guys, I've made a mark. I've let people know, don't fall for their BS. Just saying. Really. So when it comes down to why I'm not making videos as often as I did, it has to simply do with, I want a van. I want to be nomadic again. And sitting around on a camera making up stories, woe is me, crying for weeks on tens of videos that my dog died. I get out and deal with life and live it. I, I've always made my own way and I was always taught to work for what I wanted. You know, gifts are nice. I, I, my little dog was a gift. I mean, what a blessed gift, you guys. Money couldn't buy this dog for me. I'm just saying. I was gifted a van. A full-size van that's already been worked out. It had a bed, it had a kitchen, it had an AC unit. I mean, and I thank Danny. Shouts to Danny. Thank you, Danny. But the fact is, is the van that he was going to just give me, wasn't. Well, I wasn't able to register it. It didn't have a catalytic converter. And unfortunately, my mechanic told me that it's almost a law where, where emissions will be everywhere, no matter where you live. And instead of being like some of these nomads who go from one state to another trying to get something registered as cheap as they can, or as illegally as they can, I could not find it in my own soul, my own conscience, to get this van and then find a place to live for a month so that I could register it without a smog. Because the fact is, is I'm a tree hugger, you guys. I believe in clean air. I believe in not littering. I believe in not destroying the earth that we have to live on and leave to our children and our grandchildren. Not that I didn't appreciate the thought behind that gift. The thought behind that van was an amazing thought. It came from his heart and I really appreciated it. Just like my little dog, Tinker, came from somebody's heart. Remember I talked to you guys about gifts from the heart, and that's what a gift is. It's not something that people should depend on collecting every month, or they expect it to talk to you. And granted, I've been very busy lately, and I haven't even got to my own emails. But the fact is, I still think about you guys. When I answered those 200 comments today, I wanted to answer each and every one of them, because you guys are in my heart now. I feel like we're all kindred spirits. I see names and I go, oh, that's my girl from Canada. By the way, thank you for the nail, sweetheart. But I, I have formed true feelings for some of my subscribers, my viewers, and not just a couple, you guys. I relate to a thousands of you guys. 
And, and I, I get emails from hundreds of you. And sorry, you guys, for the ones who sent me emails. I haven't got to them. Um, even Janice. Remember the lady I was making uh, who, who was looking for a camp worker? Well, the gentleman who was looking to retire passed away. And, and Janet, uh, Janice, I'm sorry, I haven't got back to your email. Uh, he, his family and you guys are in my thoughts and my prayers. But with all that being said, you guys, nobody's ran me off. Nobody. <laughs> I don't run off. And I don't get bullied. And I don't get picked on. Because I just don't let people into my personal space. And the only time that something really bothers somebody to the point that they'll send trolls and flying monkeys and brain dead people who cannot think for themselves is when they have something to hide. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So you know, I want you guys to understand that, you know what, she can come out and talk about me all she wants. She can also kiss my little white butt. Just saying. And you know, as far as the other ones go, DJ, who, who complains about everything. If you watch three of her videos, you can catch her in ten lies. I mean, it's just a fact. Um, these people are so wrapped up in their own lies and their own worlds, they can't keep the truth straight. I never understood a liar. Because once you tell one lie, you've got to make up another lie and another lie and another lie. And once you've told so many lies, you lose track. And that's how we catch liars. So... As you can tell, I haven't changed much. If anything, I've gotten more boisterous. My goal when I started this channel, excuse me, mm, coffee, and yeah, clear glass, real coffee, how about that? Anyway, when I started this channel, and, and if you look way back on my first, second boondocking trip out at A1 Mountain Road, when I was talking about Bob saying you have to have a generator, I mean solar, or don't park by him. I called BS on it at that time. I've been calling BS, you guys. And nobody, nobody could find me to hear it. And now that people can hear me, I'm going to scream it from the rooftops. Am I going away? Absolutely not. Never. Never. This channel will be up and for eternity. As long as there are people out there searching, this channel will be there. Do I get to your guys' comments every day? No. Do I get to answer each and every one of them? No. But no. That I read every comment, you guys, unless it's a troll comment. Then I just delete it, block, and send. But, with all that being said, when I read your comments, you make me smile. My heart grows bigger every time. And I miss you guys. I sincerely miss you. I look forward to the day that I that I have a down payment, I can get that van, that RV, whatever God brings my way, and be back making videos. Videos about real nomadic life, not the glam mad life, not the scam mad life, the real life. Because you guys got to be careful. There are channels out there that just want to tell you the truth, but yet they've got, yeah, pay for view, live videos once a week. You see Carolyn and Bob in the same same scenery, or an apartment, or a house. They're not even out anymore. So know, you guys, in your hearts, that if nomadic life is truly what you want, it is obtainable. But know, you're going to work for it, and you're going to save for it. I'm just saying. And as far as this girl goes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Will I be here as often? No. No, I won't be on here as often. I do got to make a job. I do got to make money. I do want to do something other. I do. So, no, you're in my thoughts. My, you're in my prayers. And you guys, whatever rumors or gossip you hear out there off those other jealous channels, because they never had the fortitude <laughs> or even the brain, to be honest. They were all about the money. They didn't care who they screwed. They didn't care who lost everything just to follow a dream as long as they got that buck. And you guys, they still don't care. They still don't care. And one more thing. To the people who keep asking me if I'll be at the RTR 2019 this year, you couldn't catch me dead there. Just saying. You couldn't catch me dead there last year. I know what those people are about. 
I absolutely know. I'm not going out on free government land to be given rules and be bossed around by two people who think they're YouTube personalities and they deserve it. You guys know how I feel about that. Just saying. Remember to love yourself, you guys. Get out there and do something good for you today. Do something good for someone else. Pay it forward. Even if it's a cup of coffee. We're all blessed with so many things in life. I, I, I'm, I'm not rich and I, and I don't have everything I want. And I've always had to work for what I've got. But I have to say this. That my God has never let me do without. Right up to the last day before payday I've got coffee in my coffee pot and creamer in my fridge. So remember to love yourself and love those around you. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Peace out. Come on, Jim. <laughs> I know, right? She's so cute. Say bye bye, little bear. Did she look like you are? Say bye bye, mommy. Bye bye. I know. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>